We're very nearly at the stage where we can start registering users. But before we do that, we need to create a password hashing helper to help us securely hash passwords to be able to store. So we're going to be creating this as a helper under our code course directory, which we created earlier uh, when we created our user model. And we're going to then pull this into our application into the slim container. So let's create a new folder within our code course directory or whatever you called your uh, top level namespace. We're going to call this folder helpers. And inside of here, we're going to have a new file called hash.php. And this is going to be a class called hash. We need to namespace this, remember, because this will be auto loaded with PSR4, as we saw earlier. Namespace under code course helpers. And hash is basically just going to allow us to uh, password hash. That's pretty much it. So the password, the PHP password hashing API allows us to generate a hash, which includes salt information. Uh, you can choose the algorithm. You can choose the cost. And if you remember, we specify these in our settings just here. So we can pull them in to this hasher. However, how do we access our configuration settings within, an, within a class uh, here? Um, well, the way we do this is when we pull it into the uh, slim container, we can pass in these dependencies. And this is called dependency injection. So under start then, uh, where we define our um, container items here, we are going to this time create a singleton uh, because it doesn't need to change throughout our application. It's just uh, available in the same state. So here we're going to say hash. And we're going to return a new hash. And we're eventually going to pass our configuration into here so we can start to um, use it. So let's give ourselves the ability in here to pass in that com uh, configuration as a dependency. So what we want to do is create a constructor. And we want to pass in our config just here. And then we are going to set that to a property at the top there. So our hasher doesn't do anything yet, but it now has access to configuration as long as we pass it in. And to do that, all we need to do is make app available as part of this scope and then say app config. Then we have access to our configuration options uh, within our hasher. So we can test this out by just doing a var dump on this config. And if we go and use this, so under start, let's just test this out down here. Uh, let's go ahead and say hash equals new hash. Now there's a problem here, we'll see an error. We don't have a hash class found. That's remember because it's namespaced under code course helpers. So at the top, all we need to do is say use code course helpers hash. And remember, that's already already auto loaded in via composer. So now we have the following. Uh, oh, okay, so missing argument one. Let's take a look at this. Ah, of course, so down here, uh, we're obviously uh, just creating a new instance. So let's pull this from our app. So we'll say app hash. So when I refresh now, we see our configuration like we var dumped inside of this hash here. But now we actually want to look at generating passwords. So we're going to have a method here called password. This is going to generate a password for us. So in here, we want to type in password. It won't generate a password for us. It will generate a password hash. So the PHP password hashing API has two functions, password hash and password verify. Password hash will hash your password. Verify will allow you to type in a user submitted password and the hash and check that these match. So we're going to return password hash and in here we type in the password and then we have um, configuration options so we need uh, the algorithm so we need to get this from our config so that's this config so we now have our config available get app hash algo which is stored in app hash algo so we already know how to pull in our configuration and let's just pull this down just so it's a little bit easier to work with so the third argument here 
is an array and in here we can specify options like the cost which we know we have in our configuration so let's pass this in so it's this config get app hash cost so we've created the ability to hash a password as securely as possible using the php password hashing api so we can test this out here by echoing out app hash password and then we can type in a, a password a user might submit so for example i love cats and that will give us this hash which we can then store in our database so what happens if we need to verify a password well let's just create a temporary password variable down here and say i love cats just imagine this is a password that the user has submitted in a form when they're logging in so we'll create a new method here called password check and all this is going to do is it's going to take in a password and a hash so that's the plain text password and a hash which will come from the database eventually and we can just return the result of password verify which is part of the php password hashing api we type in the password we type in the hash and this will return either true or false to see if that password matches so to test this out then what we'll need to do is again echo out app hash password i love cats we'll store this hash now database we won't do that now we'll just copy it and we'll paste it into here we'll just say hash equals this long string and now we can var dump the result of app hash password check that method that we just created we can type in the password and we can type in the hash and you'll see that that will give us true or false in this case it's true because we know that that hash we just created uh, is basically i love cats so if for example we said i love cat and refreshed we get false here or if the hash was somehow wrong it obviously doesn't match so we get false so that is basically our hash class we will be adding to this later because we need to include sha256 hashing so we're going to create a general hashing uh, ability within this class eventually uh, but we will be doing that later on so we now have our password hashing uh, class complete we've loaded it into our apps container under hash and we can use this anywhere in our application now when we're dealing with registering users and logging users in